apple and goes blue. What's up guys, Jeffrey here. So uh, this is going to be just a quick little how-to video on setting up LEDs on your Rotor X Atom. Uh, now the first ones I want to go over are the easiest, and that's what these little guys right here. These are what's called non-addressable LEDs. They usually come like this and a stack of four and you just break them off and you get a red, a green, a blue, and a white. This is a red, it's got the R. Now these just simply have a positive and a negative. Now the easiest way to hook these up is just solder a lead to the negative, solder a lead to the positive, and then on your cube, this is the negative, this is the positive. This goes all the way down through the stack to the power from the battery. So all you have to do is simply solder wire, solder wire, remove these, this is the cheap and easy way, unscrew these, wrap the other end of the cable around and tighten it down. Now if you're going to do that, make sure that you get it really tight and really clean because you don't want that wire moving around anywhere. Uh, alternatively, you can also kind of stick them down inside here as you put the, the, the screws in for the canopy and that will hold them and you'll make sure they don't go loose and they don't go anywhere. So again, just a regular basic non-addressable LED, you simply have a positive and a negative. You can draw power directly from the stacks, negative, positive. Alright, on to the more complicated stuff. These are what's called an addressable LED. This is also an addressable LED, and so is this. <clears throat> this is the one I'm going to go for an example on, simply because I've already got it soldered up. On the Atom, if you're looking at the front of the quad from the top, this port on the right hand side, it is labeled LED strip. This is the plug you're going to use. I'll put a link in the bottom in the description to a 3 pin cable. Uh, I don't have any 3 pin, but I have a 4 pin. And what I did is I cut it. I just cut one of the 4 pins off, so now it's a 3 pin. It's very ghetto, but it works and I'm cheap. So, first step get the 3 pin plug it in to that port like so alright now next step the other end of this if we're again if we're looking at the quad in this manner this left hand pin is ground middle pin is voltage 5 volts right pin is signal so what I've done is I've soldered ground to ground, 5 volt to 5 volt, and signal to what's called the DN. Can't really read it there because it's been soldered, but you're going to have something like this. This has got two grounds, not quite sure why, but you have ground, DN, and 5 volt DC. The DN is your signal in. I don't know what the D stands for, but it is signal in. This is the signal that's going to be sent from the flight controller to this addressable LED to tell it what to do. Uh, you're also going to find an out. It's the same thing. Essentially what you can do is daisy chain. As you can see, this has got ground, 5 volt, and D out. So you could, in theory, just daisy chain ground to ground, 5 volt to 5 volt, D out to D in, and now you have two. Now, they're all going to be wired a little bit differently. This particular board, I know that this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. This board is actually labeled. It has 1, 5, 4, and 8. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is going to come handy when we go to configure. This one, not labeled, but I do happen to know from previous use, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Alright guys, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up my laptop and we'll connect this into Betaflight and we'll go over the settings. Be right back. Alright guys, we're back. Sorry about the uh, fisheye lens. The only camera I've got that I'm using right now 
and uh, it does unfortunately have a wide field of view so you get a little bit of fisheye. However, uh, what I've done now is I've got the Atom connected in via USB and we're going to go ahead and connect. Okay. Now, in order to enable LEDs, we need to come into the configuration tab, the general configuration. Scroll down to the bottom on the right and you're going to see right here, it says LED strip. Without this enabled, you won't have this LED strip option over here. So, again, enable the LED strip and that will give us this. So, LED strip, save and reboot, reconnect, and we're going to go to LED strip. Now, I've already got this configured, but we're going to just clear it out. Start from scratch. Clear all. Okay, so this grid is essentially a visual representation of LEDs and how you can have them laid out. So our LEDs are just a simple strip of four. So we're going to do four dots in a row. Now the first one we want to do is go to wire ordering mode. What this is going to do is it's going to tell CleanFlight how to address these LEDs. Which one is one, two, three, and four. As you're going to see here it actually calls it zero, one, two, and three. So I'm going to refer to them as one, two, three, and four. So anywhere in here, I just start in the middle. I'm going to go 0, 1, I have no idea why this is being a pain. All right, we'll try it again. So 0, 1, 2, and 3. So we have, again, it's numbering it 0, 1, 2, and 3, but we're going to call it 1, 2, 3, and 4. So now we're going to get out of wire ordering mode. And as you can see, it says 0, 1, 2, and 3. Maybe you can't see it. It's kind of hard to see. Now next, we're going to go ahead and select the first LED. And we're going to go up here to function. I'm just going to set this up so that they tell you whether you're armed or disarmed. You can do color and just pick colors and it'll say that color all the time. You can do arm state, modes and orientation, battery state, RSSI, GPS. There's a lot of different things here. This is just a basic how-to. So we're just going to do arm state because I feel it's a useful thing to have. Alright, arm state. So, as it sits now, this is the colors. Disarmed is going to be green. Armed is going to be red. You can change this if you just simply click on it and pick your color, but I like green and red. Super simple to see. Green means okay. Red means danger. Watch out. Alright, so we're going to go to the next one. Same thing, arm state. Notice it's disarmed and armed, green and red. Go to the next one, same thing, arm state, green and red. We'll go to the third or fourth one. Same thing, arm state, green and red. Now, just to kind of show a visual representation, uh, we'll pick the middle one and we're going to set disarmed to yellow and we'll set armed to blue and we'll do the same thing for this one. Oh, you know what look at that I haven't actually played around with this so it's not going to let us do it wow all right so we'll just go back to standard disarmed is green look learn something every day this is actually a new feature in beta flight uh, 3.0 previously you could not change the colors and for some reason it was yellow and blue which makes no sense 
However, in 3.0 you can choose the colors, but it does not look like it's going to let us pick the individual ones. Alright, so now we've got 1, 2, 3, and 4 all set to arm state. Green for disarmed, red for armed. We're going to go ahead and hit save. Make sure that that actually saves. We'll disconnect and reconnect. Back to LED. And it looks like it did save. Okay, so now I'm going to move this back a little bit. Bring the atom in. Put this down. Now comes the scary part. So we're going to arm this sitting on my bench with wires hanging out. All right. So first thing, uh, turn on my transmitter. Now this is my arm right here. Position zero is disarmed. Position one is armed and acro. Position three is armed and air mode. So make sure it's disarmed. I'm going to grab a battery. Fingers crossed. Plug it in. <clears throat> As you can see, we already have green lights. So we are now currently in a disarmed state safe to have your fingers around the props let little children touch it just kidding uh, everything's good to go now if I very carefully put this down into armed acro it's red we are now in an armed state if I touch the throttle these are gonna spin up bad stuff's gonna happen so let's disarm put this on a little better position so That doesn't help. So, disarmed, armed. Disarmed, armed. You can also see the LED on the flight controller change. No light, red light. That's it guys, it's that simple. Uh, a lot of people get, you know, worried about setting it up and it seems kind of complicated. I know that all those boxes and all the different options but this is super simple you just need that three pin plug again the link will be in the description very cheap you can buy them in packs of I believe four or five so you're gonna have multiple LEDs you want to swap them out honestly the most difficult part is figuring out where you're gonna put your LEDs because this is a tiny little frame uh, you can put them on the bottom you can probably stack a small one inside underneath the canopy uh, but uh, honestly I think that's the biggest the biggest hurdle is deciding where you're going to put them. Uh, that's it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Available on the forums, Blue Meanie. Open up a ticket at uh, rotorex.freshdesk.com if you have any additional questions that you don't want to ask in the forums or down below. Thanks for watching.